Recent groundbreaking observations conducted with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have unveiled a crucial aspect of the early universe's reionization, challenging established cosmic evolution theories. Researchers, including astrophysicists from Penn State, have delved into the earliest stages of cosmic history, capturing the first complete spectra of the universe's initial starlight. These observations shed light on the role of low-mass galaxies, indicating they played a pivotal role in the cosmic narrative. A recent study presents a clearer understanding of the emergence of very low-mass galaxies born less than a billion years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, previously overlooked, appear to hold significance in the early universe's reionization process, marking a significant departure from existing theories. Joel Leha, an assistant professor at Penn State, describes the universe's primordial state as a dense fog of hydrogen and helium nuclei, gradually transitioning as it expanded and cooled. This transition led to the formation of neutral hydrogen, a crucial step before reionization. Roughly 500 to 900 million years post-Big Bang, the neutral hydrogen began ionizing again, marking the birth of stars and galaxies and allowing light to traverse the cosmos. The researchers proposed that these low-mass galaxies acted as cosmic lighthouses, emitting high-energy photons that ionized the surrounding primordial gas, thus driving the reionization process. By scrutinizing the spectra of these fledgling galaxies, the team highlights their significance in dispelling the cosmic fog. The study leveraged JWST's sensitivity and the gravitational lensing effect of the Abel 2744 cluster which magnified the light of distant galaxies, enabling unprecedented insights into the abundance and ionizing properties of small galaxies during the universe's infancy. The findings suggest that these diminutive galaxies outnumbered their massive counterparts by a significant margin during the reionization epoch and emitted a substantial amount of ionizing photons, surpassing previous assumptions. The Penn State team spearheaded the Uncover Survey, which focused on the gravitational lensing effect of foreground galaxy clusters, aiding in the identification and analysis of distant galaxies. These observations, coupled with advanced JWST observations, led to this groundbreaking discovery. Previously, various hypotheses attributed cosmic reionization to sources such as supermassive black holes and large galaxies. However, confirmation of the role of low mass galaxies remained elusive due to their low luminosity. The current findings provide compelling evidence supporting their pivotal role in the universe's reionization. The researchers aim to broaden their study to verify the representativeness of their observations on a larger scale. Beyond reionization, these observations offer insights into early star formation and the evolution of galaxies, enriching our understanding of the universe's development. If you found this information about groundbreaking observations on the early universe's reionization fascinating, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on the latest discoveries in astronomy and space exploration. By subscribing, you'll stay informed about the most recent breakthroughs and developments in the field. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more incredible findings with you in the future.